This is Fox 26 News at 9. Welcome back, everyone. Our economy's health can be measured by our home sales. And according to this metric, the Houston area is on fire. Ned Hibbard, he knows this firsthand because he is leaving us here in Houston. We're still upset about this. And he's selling his house. Yeah, actually sold my house. Went like that. Wow. Literally that quick. Now, you guys know this. Some of you at home may not know this. But in case you haven't heard, I'm heading to North Carolina to work for a Fox station there. And literally 24 hours after our home was listed over this past weekend, it was under contract. If it's got four walls and a ceiling, or even if it doesn't, it's practically as good as sold. These days, builder John Warrose can't put them up fast enough. It's a night and day difference from the building bust of five years ago. In 2008, I saw every Astros game at home, okay? <laughs> and I'm not that big of a well, I'm not that big of a baseball fan, but I didn't have time to go to any games this year. <laughs> John, you're not missing much, but buyers could be if they don't move fast. After 29 consecutive months of rising single-family home sales in Houston, would-be buyers are seeing the available pool of homes vanish before their eyes. The market is shrinking every day, so if you're looking for a house, you may have to pay exactly the list price or maybe even a little over. It comes with all tile surround, and we do nice stained cabinetry, granite countertops all in the bathroom. Here at the Villas de Tuscany community in southwest Houston, realtor Julie Tam has watched the surging demand drive prices up. About this time last year, a home like this was selling for the high 200s. Now it would be priced at $330,000 and selling at that price, full price as well. Now, if you're a buyer, you're not digging that. But if you're a seller, you picked a darn good time to put your home on the market. The volume's at an all-time high for an October. You know, it just doesn't get any better than this if you're trying to sell a house in Houston right now. And with this market's momentum, buyers can comfort themselves with the notion that future price gains our money in their pocket. What we tell people, and it's not a hard sell, is that if you don't buy it this weekend, someone else is going to buy that particular house, and then the price is going to go up. Now, Tam says her buyers are coming from across the U.S. and even overseas, but they're all after the same thing right here in Houston. Good jobs.